So you guys, today I have two very interesting videos for you. I have spent the entire morning back here with my phone because I'm going to show you how to install custom ROMs on your Android phone so you can get Android 10 on your unsupported phone. But for now, this video is about how you can access your computer from anywhere in the world for a measly price of about 20 euro. And if you're living in America, it's probably even cheaper than that. So just before we begin, you guys are absolutely unbelievable. The number of people watching these videos that are subscribed is now all the way up to 12.3%. So if you guys are part of that 87.7% of people that aren't yet subscribed and you like tech videos, I upload daily. So make sure to smack that subscribe button, become part of the 360p gang by slamming that notification bell. Follow me on my social media here and here because I want to hear your guys' feedback and hear what you want to see. Join us on Discord, join us on Reddit, and let's move on to the video. So uh, first of all, YouTube, excuse me, YouTube is putting a crap ton of comments into my likely spam filter, so they're not actually showing up for you guys. For example, this one here, keep up the good work. Good spam, YouTube. Approved. Thank you very much. You guys are absolutely unbelievable. I wouldn't be able to be doing this without you. So this is all thanks to you guys. So first of all, let's talk about why you might want to make your computer have remote access. Now, you might think that this is a security flaw, and I mean, not really, because you're the only one that's going to have the password to it, and how you can possibly do it so cheap. So every computer has an option in its BIOS called AC power back on, or something along those lines. Every motherboard calls it something else. On Gigabyte motherboard, it's called AC power back and if you change that to on your computer will turn on automatically every time power is restored to it what does this mean well this means that we can actually use a smart plug to power on our computer whenever we feel like it so for example i have a smart plug connected to my computer right now and i have it set to ac power back always on which means that the second that smart plug turns on my PC will turn on with it. And these smart plugs are actually going for a very cheap price on Amazon. I got mine for about 15 euro and it works really, really well. Now, a lot of these smart plugs use the exact same app called Tuya Smart. So as you can see here, my Tuya Smart computer is called Setup right here. So once this opens up, you can see socket is on. And that means that this socket is on, obviously. So everything I own, is connected to a power strip that is later on connected to that smart socket. So the monitor, the computer, everything. And that way, if I'm anywhere around the world and I want to turn on my computer, all I do is I take out my phone and power that socket on. And if it's already on, I can power it off and then power it on again. Let me demonstrate for you guys. So now you could either set up your smart home assistant to do it for you, and you could ask them, or you could just press this button and all of a sudden everything springs to life, which officially means now you have a way of turning on your computer from anywhere around the world. But that's only half of the job done. Before I tell you how to do the other half, let me tell you that these smart plugs are also great for another thing. If you set them up with Smart Home Assistant, which is what I have done, you can actually make the computer automatically turn on when you're coming home if it's off, which is absolutely great because that can use your location data from your phone to sense whether you are within a certain radius of your house and turn on your computer if it's not already on. So that's really nice, but you can also set schedules for your computer to turn on automatically at a certain time or turn off at a certain time with these smart plugs. And that way you're saving the planet and you're saving the energy. And let's be honest, we could all save a little bit of energy. But now let's move on to the second half of what you'll need to be doing if you want to set this thing up properly. Because of course you need some way of connecting to your computer to access it when you're wherever, because it might be asking you for your password. Plus you can't actually do anything on it yet. So let's move on to that. So as you can see, here is my desk desktop and what you want to do to complete your setup is you want to search for a software called AnyDesk. Now this is a remote access application that is completely free. So you won't be paying for this one. As you can see, I've downloaded it multiple times because you can either just use it as an executable, which means you don't need to install it. So you just click on it and it turns on. Or if you didn't have it installed, it would show over here do you want to install AnyDesk? Once you have it installed, it will ask you to set an alias, which is basically an easier name that you can remember, because if you don't set an alias, it's going to give you a random string of numbers that you will have to remember every time you want to connect. So I've set an alias for myself. Of course, I'm not going to show that to you. And then what you want to do is you want to click set password for unattended access. It'll ask you for admin rights. Once you give it those admin rights, you can set a password for unattended access. Now, what does that mean? That means quite literally what it says. Unattended, which means when you're not at your computer and you put in your alias into your phone 
AnyDesk app or on your laptop AnyDesk app, it will ask you for that password. And once you have that password, you can actually sign into your computer and use it from anywhere around the world. And the great part is this works on the login screen. So if you have a password set up on your computer just before Windows turns on, AnyDesk will actually launch in the background with Windows and you will be able to access that login screen using AnyDesk and put in your password, which means you will have full access to Windows and full access to using your computer. If your computer is, let's say, more powerful than your laptop, well, it's obviously more powerful than your phone, you could do video editing on your laptop through your computer anywhere around the world. Now, of course, your Wi-Fi connection will need to be pretty good for this, but this does also work on worse Wi-Fi connections, but of course it'll bring down the quality of what you are getting on the receiving end. But other than that, it works really, really well, and it gets my job done for everything I need it for, which is for, let's say, when I'm at work and I want to start a YouTube video upload, or when I'm halfway across the world in Poland, and I want to get something done on my computer because it's more powerful than my laptop. Or let's say I need a file. This software also allows you to just drag and drop files from one computer to another, which is absolutely amazing, because that means you don't have to mess around with USB sticks and hard drives and things like that. And it's completely completely free. Now, let me tell you, this is not a sponsor, but AnyDesk, if you want to sponsor me, I'm here. So just to demonstrate a little bit further, I just turned on my PC using the smart plug and let's say I'm halfway across the world. I have my laptop right here. All I do is I launch AnyDesk on it. And as you can see, it is on the lock screen. Great. I don't have AnyDesk downloaded. Let's download AnyDesk. And the thing is you could do this on any computer because again, you don't even need to install any desk. So just to show you that, I'm not actually gonna install it on the laptop, here it is. As you can see, the orange thing is showing up right there. Do you want to install any desk? So I'm not going to install it. I put in my alias, there we go. It asks me for the password. I'm gonna click login automatically from now on and I'm going to put in my password and boom. Look at this. I can now see my computer screen on my laptop and if I press space here, it's going to happen on the computer as well. And I can access my computer from anywhere around the world, unlocking it using my laptop. So if you guys are worried about the unlock screen being a problem because programs don't launch behind the unlock screen, as you can see, it's not a problem at all. And I can totally just close everything. I can launch Premiere Pro and I can start editing the video that we just recorded halfway across the world on my computer. So yeah, that was just a nice little short demonstration for you guys showing you that you can in fact unlock it on the lock screen and that you don't need to have it installed on your secondary device if you don't want to, to access your main device. So that's it. So guys, that is going to be it for today's video. I really hope I helped you out. I hope you found out something that you didn't know that will help you out in the future or maybe even now maybe you need this for work and you want to find out how to do it well here's a very simple very very cheap way to get it done so if you like the video and you're part of that 87.7 percent of people that aren't yet subscribed make sure to smack that subscribe button with your forehead make sure to ding that notification bell become part of the 360p gang because on this channel we have the 360p gang we don't like those higher resolutions. Even though YouTube is trying to force them on us, we need to rebel. Watch the video in 360p. People are telling me to make merch. Tell me down in the comment section if you guys want merch. I don't I don't even know how that would work, but look, if you guys want it, I will make it like 360p gang merch or something like that. Or Jahaha merch, which is another meme that happened somehow. <laughs> Follow me on my social media here and here because I want to hear what future videos you guys want to see. Join our Discord where we talk about literally anything and we have fun. If you need any help, there's also very helpful members there that are very active. And uh, people were asking me on there why I have a nuclear rocket launch button on my desk. Well, here's the answer. Not. 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 There you go. It's a meme button. It's, it's much more important than the rocket launch button. Join us on Reddit because I want to see you guys posting spicy memes so I can make a series on it where we just laugh at them all together. And that's going to be it. So if you guys want to be notified of future videos, make sure to smack that subscribe button, ding my bell, and see you again in the next one. Peace. I almost forgot, and I can't forget this because people get angry. So... Mm-hmm. <laughs>